Welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hello, mate. What the fuck is up? Crocky. Hello, mate. What the fuck is up? Crocky. Situation. She thinks that the fucking Africans weren't actually brought over from Africa. She thinks they were already here and we took over the country and oh, enslaved them. She's a Mormon. And uh, and there's no such thing as like slave ships and stuff. They're not. They were luxury and, cruise vessels. Oh, yeah. I know, right? They're Hi, Tyler. They weren't, they, weren't, they weren't slave ships. They were hey, what's uh, up? cargo carriers. Yes. You can turn off your video because that'll help you with your, uh, you know, your internet connection. What the fuck is going on with my fucking <laughs> Skype? All right. Because God knows we don't want to fucking look at you. Yeah. <laughs> good. I do either. Holy shit. What's up is with your face? Like, oh, yeah, what's up with really, really what, quiet on this? What's up like with a, the hair lip? You're like a mouse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a mouse? Yeah. If it'll work. Like that? Yeah, you need to, like, turn off your video. <laughs> 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 Huh? You unclicked the whole picture of a camera. Yeah, it looks, dude. <laughs> it looks like somebody... There's no picture it. of a looks, camera. It's looks like... like... Are you on your phone? Really tiny. Yeah, I'm on my phone. And there's got a... Hey, JC, how do you undo the video on an iPhone or an Apple product? You throw it on the Click fucking the little ground. thing that looks... There's an icon that looks like a camera at the bottom. Oh, there he, he goes. It. I got it. Cool, man. You, you you fix all Apple products by throwing them <laughs> on the fucking rollades <laughs> and then going and standing in line at the fucking Apple store. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Dude, I want that to be my knockout, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need it, too. Oh, man. <laughs> I fucking love these rollades, boy. <laughs> God damn. I don't. I find uh, them nasty. I just they're like, they're, like, uh, they're like fucking condoms for food. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I tell you what, I, w I wish they weren't medicine. I'd eat the fucking things like candy. <laughs> yeah, tums are like, good too, man. They're like, like they taste. They're like fucking Pez, but they taste better than Pez. But they're medicine. Oh, yeah, they make them fruit this. flavored. Yeah, I know. Oh man, yeah. I don't think I bought anything this week. Oh, I got a couple things. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, no, we're all huh? actually here on time. Yeah. We yeah. Actually, start early. Hold on, I'm gonna check the levels and we can go. Hey, you got yeah. you, you you know those um you know that knockoff Legends figures we kept talking about the ones in the giant stack from Kmart. Yeah. Yeah. I finally bought them, dude, and I fucking broke that Magnus <laughs> in five minutes. Are they like the like the soft shampoo bottle plastic? They're like the like the. Uh, Packing tape, fucking dispenser, plastic, Lovely. like the free ones. Yeah, nice. It sucks though. I'm sitting there and like I'm messing with it, with the uh, cause they're all shit. The only one that's interesting looking is the Magnus one, and he's actually a parts former on that. <laughs> and so like I've turned it into a truck, and I was like, okay, it's horrible. And I tried to turn him back, and I broke the leg off. And my wife looked at me, and I must have actually looked like I had a little bit of disappointment in my eyes, cause she goes, "What's wrong?" <laughs> I was like, I broke the only one in the six pack I fucking wanted. <laughs> <laughs> so just put Shit. it back in the box and take it back. It was on sale for five bucks for the whole pack. It was like seven dollars to five bucks. Well, you go get another. Yeah. So how how does that plastic feel? Because it looked like it was super cheap. It feels like you could eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's made out of fruit roll ups. <laughs> if they were old, if they were frozen, yes, it feels like frozen fruit roll ups. You know what? Take some old fruit roll-ups, put them in the tube, and then take them back and see if you can return them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should just return them, get the five bucks, and go buy a fucking 240s at OE, dude. There you go. Fuck this shit. Uh. They're hey, pretty can you guys still hear me? Yep. Yeah, oh, dude, good, not only can dude. we still hear you, I can still see your fucking mustache. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, I can. It's burned Wait, somebody my put retina. a fucking steak in there, too? It looks, like, it looks like my cat's hairbrush. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, okay. Never mind. I get it. What is it? Heroin? A steak. I want a steak. Where is it? 
Yeah, me too. In the show Give notes. Did you say steak? <laughs> so wait, who the hell? You can't have steak. I'm the only one yeah. that's allowed to do something that's not chicks. And we're going to stop that shit. I do nope. food, or I do fish, so... Yeah, but you don't really... The problem is, you don't really want to do fish. You have to do fish. Yeah, like, I am the catfish. I'm getting that catfish tattooed on my arm here in a couple weeks. I don't think that's what he was saying, man. I think he was calling you a fucking pussy, and you will fucking use a chick (laughs) for your wife. Yeah, like, I... She don't listen listen no more. I don't choose a chick, because I so don't fucking care about them. Like, this this thing of Rolaids has more use to me than a hot chick. Yeah, like, my wife don't fucking listen no more. Why'd she stop listening, man? Why'd she start? Yeah, because of Matt. <laughs> she started because Matt was on. <laughs> she just wanted to hear Matt's voice again. I don't know. She got into Candy Crush or something that's taken up all her whole life. <laughs> God damn, dude. That's horrible. I know. I keep trying to tell her. I'm like, you need to stop. That's like, like no. my wife with that's like my wife with the Pokemon, dude. Yeah, I can erase her whole phone with the press of a button, though. Yeah, she but she can erase yet. your whole fucking life with the press of a button. <laughs> yeah, not turning on the stove. Yeah, all she's got to do is fucking uh, speed dial your lawyer and you're fucking done. Oh, not call no. Matt? Not call Matt? No, she makes more money than me, so she, uh, she'd have to pay me alimony. That's awesome. I know. I told her that last night. I'm like, I'm taking the fucking house and half your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna take your she's gonna take your snakes though. That's fine. As long as she takes some dogs. <laughs> Fucking goddamn chewy today. Yeah, I mean his ass on here, but JC don't. Alright. I'll, I'll fucking go toe to toe with him if he wants. I mean I'll have I'll have it out with him. I don't give a fuck. And then the goddamn verses, it's a show. I think I think yeah. he'd be funny on the show. Y'all could have political discussions about Trump and why he's the best president ever. Who are we talking um, about? Like Joseph Hudson. Oh. The guy that you have that thing of mine still. I actually got to get to the uh, post office tomorrow. I sold Russia. Let me know, so let me know what it costs. It'll probably be like... Uh, yeah, it won't be that bad, I don't think. It's not that heavy. It is heavy. Is it? No, it's not heavy, but it's heavy. It's heavy. I'm going to send it to him in a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> mail it in a plastic bag. No, yeah, I forgot. I shipped them to you with the box. I got the box. That's kind of cool. Put some dog shit in there with it. <laughs> no, I actually like Joe. Put I, like the him. I, li- I think I like him. I like him more because you don't like him now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that dude <laughs> constantly made fun of you. Like, Yeah, but I made fun your, of him, too. Get in your hole. Yeah, that's true. That's and true. The, whole, the whole thing was actually one of the longest running jokes in that entire group. Mm-hmm. Oh, it still is. I mean, we can fucking open that bitch up. Oh, I'm good. I don't need more whole time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, ship him something and put that uh, in a garbage box and put the return <laughs> addresses. Either Casey McCone or Antoine Trin. That's too much work. Yeah. Oh, I, no, I got Antoine's um address. I haven't scammed him yet, though. So, oh, Antoine Lewis? No, 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 no. The, the, I mean, the raw, scammer. That, that scammer. Antoine. Oh. Boston, Antoine. Yeah, Antoine Boston. I want to yeah, shake that SARS. Fucking <laughs> 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 SARS. Ah, <laughs> boy. Hey, dude, did I tell you that I found like an M80 when I was like cleaning shit out of my house? Nice. Are you going to blow I, something up? I might blow up one of these knockoffs. That'd be funny. Yeah, I just got to make sure the. I don't do it when the police are running around here. Hey, hey well, did dude, you, you have like an arsenal at home. You might as well just go out. Shoot no, no, no. no. Uh, did, did you save the tube that they all came in? Yeah, I have the tube. Because you should totally turn that into a freaking potato cannon and shoot them out of it. <laughs> that tube, that tube ain't gonna be able to launch anything, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is, is like, the only plastic. The only thing shit here, the only plastic shit here than the figures is the fucking tube they came in. <laughs> All right. It's made out of fucking weaponized AIDS. Nice. <laughs> 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 oh, right, on man. that note, you want to get underway, fellas? Sure. Weaponized AIDS. <laughs> I'm over here forgetting how to transform something. Who's hosting tonight? I am. 
Oh, God damn it. What? I mean, okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) Small painter. Somebody give me a countdown. Anybody? Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. And three, two, and go. Since the dawn of time, things have happened. People have talked about those things. First with cave paintings, then with language, writing, and art. In our time, we use the internet. From the depths of nerdom come four guys who talk about things too. World famous internet celebrity, Justin L. The destroyer of BotCon, Bedbugs. A man who rejects the concept of catch and release, Justin Catfish. And the customizing powerhouse, Mako Aspire. This is totally knocked off. Welcome to TKO number 13. Ooh, uh, spooky. Lucky number 13. Ooh. It is spooky. It was Halloween uh. last night. We had a lot of tricks and treats going on, you know, as is the time of season for this. How are you, everyone? And I will go in order from my top left. Bugs, how the fuck are you? I'm doing pretty good. Had a lot of fun. Uh, built a campfire last night and was handing candy out to the kids. Uh, few of them come up to the fire to warm up, and now it's snowing, and it sucks. Mm. Now they're on milk cartons. I was going to say, how many <laughs> yeah. How many are in your basement? Perfect. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, JL, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. How is everybody tonight? Tell them in the comments. Yeah, let me know in the comments that I don't look at. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our guest tonight is the fuckboy himself. Oh, fuck Tyler me, Walker. right? What? What's up, everyone? What's up? <laughs> what? Yeah. what the fuck was that? Yeah. I said, what's up, everyone? Not you. Justin, what did you <laughs> say? Oh, no, don't worry about me. Okay. <laughs> he, he's hey, feeling, no, we're he's just feeling the... Introduce me. <laughs> because I'm going in order around clockwise. Oh, you were so last. We do the guest last. He's, he's going in order of importance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going in order of impotence. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, wait a minute. Are you going from highest <sighs> to lowest or what? You duke it out. Anyway, <laughs> welcome Tyler Fulcher to the program. Uh, good to be here. I was sure to leave an empty bowl of candy out yesterday with a sign that said free, take one, and just left it at that. The whole bowl or the can just candy? No, just an empty bowl with the free free take one. So Okay. Strangely not the, strangely See if I was in your if I was a kid in your neighborhood, I would have stole the fucking bowl and threw it through your window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, strange strangely enough, that's not the only thing that he owns that had free candy written on it. Oh no. Oh. No, my van got my van got impounded. It got repossessed. <laughs> All right. Now, hello, Catfish. How are you, sweetie? Whatever, man. Salty. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not e- I'm not even in the mood anymore. I got a headache, and <laughs> no, I'm, do- I'm doing well, sir. I took two naps today. Two naps? Damn. Jesus Christ. Two naps. fucking naps. Aren't you going to save some naps for the weekend? Jesus. <laughs> I don't get a weekend. No, you do sometimes. Sleep. Every once a year. Yeah, right? like every... Okay, gotta remember that this weekend's gonna be pretty miserable for JC since Iowa's taking on Ohio State. Shut the fuck up, dude. We're gonna win. <laughs> what are they playing soccer? <laughs> <sighs> It'll be fine, bugs. All right, I'm gonna wait we... for the knock off. <clears throat> now that we know how everybody's doing, what did you get? In the same order. Don't get offended, JC. Bugs. <laughs> I didn't get diddly shit this week. Did you get any pussy? No. <laughs> All right. JL. 
Um, I didn't get anything except for uh, I did finally buy some knockoffs that I've been looking at Ooh. punishing myself with. Dick cancer. Uh, I don't think these are actually solid enough to give you anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you ever go to Kmart, they have that. T- it's a giant tube full of weaponized AIDS. I mean, um, knockoff Legends figures. It's like $5 for six of them. And my curiosity had been killing me for a while. And they were actually used to be $7. And then they got marked down to five because seven for six figures was too much. <laughs> and so I, I finally picked them up just to see how terrible they could be. And they were they were worse than my wildest imagination. <laughs> <laughs> and how did, you, per- how did you describe the plastic quality? Um, it's like... Uh, like frozen uh, fruit roll-ups. <laughs> <laughs> like you could probably, if, if, I have a feeling that on the Walking Dead, like seven years from now, when all the foods expired, mm-hmm. they're gonna be looking for these shit so they can eat them. <laughs> Cause it looks edible. <laughs> Did you try licking them? Not yet, man. There's not enough paint for me. <laughs> mm. I like a little more paint on my stuff. Who doesn't? Tyler. But yeah. Oh. What's up? What did you get? Um, well, I didn't get anything this week. Can I go back to like TFCon? I guess Tell so. What I got no. from there? You might as well. You've never been on the show before, so yeah. it is all new. <laughs> all right. Um, you got pregnant. TF-Con? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna send him child no. support money, JC? No, I'm not. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Well, I got the um that Mick Toys Howling and Galaxy Meteor from I forget who I picked it up from, but grab those. I got Bad Cube Huffer. I don't know his third Huff. part. Name. Huff. Yeah, Huff. And then <laughs> I grabbed one other figure from there. Oh, DX9 Power Glide. That by far is one of my favorite figures I bought this year. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Is. Um, other than that, I really haven't got anything recently. I'm just waiting on other stuff. I got oh, my Omega Part B is being shipped to me right now from Yay. Hong. Nice. And uh, Omega Part A, Jason still has it in Virginia. I'm going to go down there this week, this upcoming week. Yeah, well, this airs on Sunday, so tomorrow I'll be flying out there and I'll try and pick it up from him. And they're going to start charging you personal property taxes in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. that, that's all I got. <clears throat> Just so everybody knows, I'm getting, I'm getting my Part B in a coot from Hung, hopefully soon. Hopefully yeah. sometime this or next week. Everybody's getting hung. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Speaking of dicks, catfish. <laughs> uh, what did I get this week? Um. Well... I guess my most recent purchase was an <laughs> ice cold Pepsi that I'm now drinking on. Well, that's Blech. good. This is for North Carolina. <laughs> it's fucking good, boy. No, we got the Pepsi plant here in fucking Cedar Rapids now, bud. Uh, we had to give it up. Yeah. <laughs> Pepsi I need good old like fucking. Coke. Shut up. <laughs> um, I got from Dr. my man Pepsi. Tyler. He sent me a. Fucking effect thing, like a stomping effect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? I got that thing, and I got this little fucking Autobot symbol from Toy Dojo that fits on Omega Supreme. It's pretty cool. And then I got Part B of Omega Supreme finally. And he's all right. All right. Just all right. A fucking. He's not perfect. Three hundred fifty dollar toy. He's all right. He got problems, man. I mean, fan toys, they're an 80% company, man. They never put 100% into anything. And with, with a few with a few modifications, this thing could have been perfect. But the leg joints, whoosh, man, they are fucked up. Does he stand and look awesome? He stands, but listen, man, make toys, city bots, <clears throat> no fucking problems with their leg joints whatsoever. They're hard as fucking rocks. They're great ratchets. These things, not so much. It's more like Metroplex Hasbro style. Yeah, I've I've been around that thing. I saw Hung 
you know, transform it when he brought it to a, a toy store around me. And just watching the die cast move around the plastic in the special way you gotta fucking twist that thing. I'm like, this is not gonna be good. I mean, I still like it. It's a great figure. I mean, I love it. No, I had to transform. I'm just talking about durability. It's just, yeah, I mean, there's so much they could have done to just simple things to make it a hundred times better, you know? And it is the little things, isn't it? It's always the little things. Small, small things. things. Small things. Just ask my wife. Oh, so small. small things. <clears throat> That's all I got, man. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> what did you get, Chris? Oh, thanks for asking. Uh, I got <laughs> Fan Toys Coop. Uh, I really like that figure. It's the perfect representation of Cup. Uh, you know, I actually trans transformed. He came in the box in robot mode. And normally, if they come in robot mode, I just put them on the shelf and don't fuck with them. But I'm like, you know what? Let me see about transforming them. So I went through, did the whole process, got a little hung up in a certain couple spots because of clearance issues. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with them. Um, I also got a Hot Soldiers Legend Scale Ratchet. That's not the knockoff company. That's the legitimate one. The ones making the B and the Iron Hide and all that. You just saved yourself a lot of like uh, huffing or a lot of puke noises. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time for that later. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Um, and finally, I, in Walmart, I came upon a deluxe slug slinger. So I picked it up. And... <laughs> oh, I like that, dude. He's right <laughs> next to me, man. That's a good figure. Yeah, that's it a is good a good figure, figure, man. Yeah, it is. They're, they're coming up in the world, man. They're almost good enough to start making that third-party stuff. Um... <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, but... I still, I still need slug slinger. It looks like a nice figure. And the, uh, they made the guns, they kind of homage the Target Master a little bit. I just popped his hand off trying to move the gun around. Nice. It's easy to, move. It's easy to pop <laughs> them things off. Hell Hasbro. Hell Hasbro. Hell Ham Hands. Yeah. I think it looks good right where it's at with you guys. I don't in want the to... store. Yeah, in the <laughs> store. The pictures I can Google anywhere but here. Okay, then. On that note, I'm gonna but... send you five of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, like... I'll I'll blow them up and add them to my custom cup collection. <laughs> That's fucked yeah. up, man. Hmm. So so you like your Hasbro toys like you like your women in pictures online? <laughs> oh, that's oh. Mm. All right. <laughs> uh, move, moving Later. on, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start our news. And first up is a picture of a gray version of the X Transbot skids. And I am happy. It looks good. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to buy it as a placeholder until Fans Toys or MP puts one out five years from now. <laughs> yeah, you, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think, I don't, I think skids is, is pretty low on the list of uh, masterpiece bots yeah. that are going to come out. They're, he's a lot higher on the fans list than he is on the company's list. Yeah, because it, he didn't do anything. But wait a minute. It's called Fans Toys, so if he's high up on the fans list, shouldn't they make him? No. No. No? Why not? He'll become the forgotten Autobot. Hey, he was part of the... He fucking, already is. He was part of the of Scrapper's Throat. There's only one person that cares about skids in the whole world. And that's no. skids. And that's Chris. I like skids too, though, man. What do you I like about him? I always thought his little car mode when when I was a kid was really cool. Yeah, that's when um the like the minivan first came out. Like eighty. It's not a minivan. Though. It's not a minivan. It's a Honda City Turbo. Well, it's so you like care more about you care more about the toy than you do the character itself. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I used to have this toy, you know, with me all the time because it was small, could fit in your pocket. You know, it was fun to transform. Well, now the comic skids is pretty cool, but yeah, this yes. isn't him. Yeah. So, but it does look cool. It looks like a little little car that turns into a robot. Yes. Yep. I, I think it add... comes with the original scooter too that came with the car. 
It does. Nice. Like the actual car. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if it turned into whatever shit face's name is from the GoBots? Scooter. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be tired as fuck. I, I would I'd pay, buy it if it did that. I'd pay 50 bucks right now for a Masterpiece scooter. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I got a shelf for that with like little Gundams that don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? You know what I thought when I saw that skid at the convention? I was thinking that we weren't going to see that at all. But since that fans toys picture went around, that they hurried up and got that prototype out and showed it because they got scared. I don't think that fucking shit had anything to do with it. It'd be funny if it did, though. It would be awesome. It might have. The ex-Transbots pictures were out before the fans toys ones were. Yeah, but the picture the picture of the fans toys ones probably scared them into like we better show this prototype now. Hurry up and paint it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with that. I agree with Tyler. You wanna agree with Tyler. <laughs> you just want it to be true. Goddamn right I do. <laughs> and X Transbots makes good mini bots too, so he's not really a mini bot, but I bet they can handle this guy. Mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be fine. I mean, he's. I bet he'll turn inside <laughs> out like a fucking origami dove, but he, he's it'll a, still be a good little car mode. He's a blocky vehicle and he's a blocky robot. So basically, then they don't have to do a lot of engineering. They just have to make it fold the arms up and uh, accordion in on itself. Just yeah, okay. G1. Cur- I, I am curious what kind of uh, weapons and accessories besides the scooter that they're going to include because didn't the original one have like a bunch of weapons he had I think so. he had um two different um arm uh mounted missile things well you can you can see the notches for that shit in the pictures see the notches on the forearm yeah yeah on, on the wrist yeah mm-hmm. yeah one was a just like a single cast piece of um like it was a double barrel pistol that was okay like a, that... like a wrist shoulder or something then next question, because I believe the originals were chrome. Do you want chrome weapons, or would you rather have them just painted silver? I want chrome weapons. I, I want chrome. I want them headlights to be chrome too. How they did a really good job. That I mean, his front end looks like an old fucking car. That's mm-hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. I'll give them credit for that. It looks good. Just like um, they uh, Wind Charger and um, shit. Can never think of anybody's name when I need to. Tailgate. Yeah, Wind Charger and Tailgate look great. The little Firebirds are awesome. Mm-hmm. So, does anybody else have anything to say about it? Mm. I'm good. Oh. All right, then. We so are who's going to buy it? Oh, absolutely, I'm buying it. I'm going to buy it. Nope. I'll, I'll, I'll pass for now. You going to buy it, Tyler? I might. It depends on what else is coming out. Well, you can buy like eight of them with like the three hundred dollars for the two constructor cons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, it's too <laughs> it's too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up on the docket is Iron Factory Legend Scale Figures. Yes. I am, I am dubbing two thousand eighteen as the year of the Legends figure. Oh yeah, yeah I got excited when I saw all these. Man. Imagine being able to keep the whole DJD in a fucking fanny pack. DJZ. <laughs> DJ fanny pack. Did you see that move? That movie that I posted. There's, Which one? There's some guys named uh, Taco Truck. They did a a uh, horror movie about a haunted fanny pack. The guy no, puts I'm it not, on and it makes him crazy. Oh, uh, it doesn't bite his wiener off. No. Oh, that's not scary enough then. <laughs> But, right, but yeah, these these Iron Factory DJD figures, they look awesome, and they're showing them all right off the bat, like they're ready to go, you know? Yeah. But well, why, yeah, they combine, too. Why do they have to they, combine? That picture? Because yeah. they combine to make a big tarn, in case you just want a big tarn figure. Oh. Because it just looks like a tarn. Yeah, it doesn't look exactly like any like. kind of combiner. It just looks like a big-ass tarn. Mm. I think that's pretty badass. That's it also cool. looks like you rip... Uh, What's his face and have to do the shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember any of their names except for like Voss and fucking Tarn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know the red one. The red one's like Kayon. Yeah, Kayon. 
<clears throat> and then the other two are just like a wall that's behind them all the time. In one of them, Helix. <laughs> Helix, yeah. yeah. To Google we go. It, it doesn't matter because the other two have such cool characteristics that even without knowing their name, I need them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So yeah. One of them sure. has a fucking furnace on his chest that it grinds you up in, and the other one's got an extra set of little arms on his waist, just like I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'd say Triple R's typing in the comments, but he don't listen to this show. No, nobody does, apparently. That's what I've heard. <laughs> That's <laughs> like because we lack... four views in like two weeks. Yeah, we what lack talent here. <laughs> 34 views in two weeks, or like a week. What, for us? Yeah, I've, I've watched um last week's show. I finished it today. Oh, on, it, on YouTube? It, yeah, I said we're, 34 we're, views. Wow. That's the Is that like a whole watch? <laughs> Maybe just a click and then clicked off. I don't. <laughs> the people checking. I, I told you guys we need to like in our uh, what do they call them? Our uh, our search words like our search criteria. You need to put like MMA and like boxing. <laughs> 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 we could trick people to click in it because it's TKO. Hey, that works. <laughs> Muay Thai. Yeah. Well, like we'll just change our titles. Like we won't put like Tyler's on. We'll put like fucking Katy Perry's on or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Get them views. Yeah, fuck oh, a view. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't. I, I think the ratio of people that watch on YouTube these kind of shows mm-hmm. versus actually listen through the podcast app. I think there's a lot more people that use the podcast app. So thirty something views on YouTube is actually not too bad for where we're at. Tell us in the comments. Yeah, tell us in the comments how you listen and, um, or, or view. Load up All right. your load up right your, now, I'm the only one that types in the comments. And go ahead and, and open mm-hmm. up that Microsoft Edge that you don't use and uh, mm-hmm. open us up on that browser, too, so we get some more views in there. <laughs> no, I don't, want, I don't want fake shit. I mean, I want people to listen and enjoy this fucking thing. Or, well, I'm okay yeah. with people pretending to like me. Or, you know what? <laughs> I'd even be cool with listen and hate us. Yeah. Thumbs up if you're using Chrome. Thumbs down if you're using your Edge browser. <laughs> <laughs> Comment with two different accounts, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, past the uh, DJD, Iron Factory has about five or six other things that they've shown recently. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. The first up is uh, Iron Factory. Stream. Strike Feather. Let's switch to And then. And, they, um, and they, it's not just a straight <clears throat> repaint. It looks like they actually thinned her out a little bit to make her a little more feminine. No, I think they just gave her a bigger head. <laughs> no, I'm looking at um Starscream right now. I think they did change the sculpt a little bit. Good. Maybe. If not, they did a good job. Yeah. I mean, I might actually get that one just because it's. I don't think I'm going to get another one from DX9 or anybody else, so that'll be fine. Um. Also, we have Steel Lucifer, which is. That's MMC fucking White Prime Wing Prime. What's the Nova fuck Prime. Name? Nova Prime. Thank you. Like five years ago, no one even knew who that was. Yeah. Nobody still knows who this is, but he's going to be like <laughs> 75 bucks and he's going to have a lot of shit, so people are going to buy him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless you got Battle Core Combiner Wars Optimus Prime, then you got to have that extra upgrade. Yeah, you got to, you know, strap all this shit on. He looks like a fucking virtual lawn boss. <laughs> or you just get the MMC version, which is way cooler. But they cost seven times as much. It's like I got both scale. of them. I don't, you know, I don't need any rendition of this thing. I don't even need a picture of this. I'm going to take the picture off my fucking screen right now. <laughs> I, I did a, um, I don't know which fucking Prime it is. It's the fucking one that everybody uses. I did Amazon a, Prime? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did a, did a custom of him. He's in the, like one of the lower cabinets in the back. I'm like, I don't even fucking consider you, but you're here. Uh, next up, it looks like a shattered glass Prime of some sort. I need to put so, some cracks on it, man. I don't want no no shiny new looking fucking shattered glass prime. No, that should be a convention exclusive. Isn't this kind of a remold of that Nova Prime? Oh, I'm sure, but well, they already the, put uh... this out, didn't they? They already yeah. did this is like Power Master Prime. That's Power Master. Why does it have but, but but it's like War for Cybertron style. That's uh, weird. Unless it's a whole God Bomber fucking attachment. Super See, God I'll, I'll... Jinrai. I just want the Prime for like 30 bucks. I don't want all that other crap. Yeah. I don't Meh. need his backpack unless his backpack tur- turns into a god bomber. Mm. Meh. 
And fuck that thing. Next up is Warpath. That's the best looking third party Warpath we've ever had. And yes. it's, it's very small. Yes. I agree with that, to be honest with you. Yep. It looks better than that damn bad cube atrocity, and it looks be- better than that, <laughs> MM- that MMC abortion that we're getting. Oh, man, I, I don't like that thing at all. I, that I might be the first. Reformatted. That might be the first MMC mold that I skipped. Yeah, I'm like, I'll never three of them. It. Nah, It'll man. What are you going to troop build them as clones? Like drones? Yeah, man. Shit? I'll paint two of them green and one of them red. Oh, like your, like your like your bowel movement. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just wait for the um the next of that mold, which is probably going to be Beast Machines Tankor. I guarantee that's what it's oh, going to be. No, nope, it'll be uh it'll be a uh, fucking striker. No, it'll be DJD, the little fucking dude. Nickel. They're not DJD, but uh the wreckers. Guzzle. What's that fucking? Guzzle. Oh, come Guzzle. (laughs) Maybe. It'll be Guzzle. (laughs) The only thing that bothers me is those little dots on his barrel makes it look like a little mouth with teeth and his eyes, his chest has his eyes on it. It It's like a aardvark (laughs) (laughs) on his chest. (laughs) Actually, to me, since since I'm from Philly, it looks like the Philly fanatic to me. Maybe. Maybe that's who's inside of the suit. Maybe. All I know is I'm going to buy the fuck out of this. I might buy two if it's different colors. Yeah, I'll buy this one. Uh, Look at that head sculpt. It's perfect for me. What? I'm skipping that tank order. That thing's... Oh, oh, the Iron Factory. I thought you meant the MMC or the reformatted one. No, I'm getting a Legends one. Okay. Yeah, me too. It's going to be like 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, But I probably won't get... Or, you know what? I may get just to have some kind of representation of this character is their Die Atlas. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. I don't know if I need it, but if it's cheap enough, I might get it just to play with. Yeah, that, that's going to be the determining factor. Whether it's... If it's like 60 bucks, no. If no, it's like no. 40 maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I like it. It looks good. The only other Die Atlas we got recently was the, um, what was it? Fans Project. Fans Project. Yeah, the Fans Project. That's Fans it. Project. Fans Project. Fans Project. <laughs> I have that fucking toy, and you know what? It's a great fucking toy. I'll give you 35 bucks for it right uh, now. No. I'll give you four. No. It's not a bid. He's supposed to just say no and it stops, Tyler. Oh. Uh. I'm never going to sell it. Never going to give it up? Never. <laughs> never going to get it. Never going to get it. <laughs> All right. So is this next one supposed to be jazz? Yeah, speaking of never going to get it, I don't like this. Look at his ears. He looks like a cat. Rush yeah, this beats. one looks kind of weird. His face is weird. The alt of mode. course, this looks like a very, very early model, though. It looks like they sculpted it out of gray Play-Doh. <clears throat> yeah, but the alt mode looks like fucking um, prime smokescreen. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a Porsche of some type, but this don't look like Jazz. That looks like um, Fall of Cybertron more, Jazz. Looks more like Sideswipe than Jazz to me. Mm-hmm. In yeah, car mode anyway. The way that you're talking about the overhead down shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I see it. His head also kind of looks like Bumblebee and Redgar at the same time. Mm. Bumblegar. <laughs> Bumblegar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just skip. So nobody's buying this? No. I might buy it. It depends on what it looks like when it's done. Yeah. And last... Yeah, I might, I might, I might buy it, too. You're going to buy two no, of these? I'm done. I'm done. No, I said I might buy it, too. Okay. Uh, and last for the Iron Factory Legends, uh, we have Jet Fire. I'm going to buy the shit out of this. I'll buy it. It looks really good. <laughs> Stop it. This is a respectable <laughs> show. <laughs> Gross, man. Nice, you... nice push. Jeez. Yeah. It sounds like that was pushed out from your ass. <laughs> <laughs> So right. we're, uh, so everybody buying this? It does look really good. I'm going to buy it. Doesn't it stick? Doesn't it all like attach to that little prime too? I think I saw pictures of it like being yeah. armor for the prime they made. And then the, um, some of it combines with something else I saw somewhere. I'm not, My- I, I, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, I've seen, I think I saw him as armor for that other prime that's already out but like i'm never gonna i don't even have that prime i actually passed on it 
yeah. I have the old the old hybrid convoy or whatever, the little tiny diecast one. That's badass. Mm-hmm. That's a good that's a good little prime. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not in on any of this shit. Uh, hey, you like that dog life. Yeah, I'm just not into legends, man. I'm I'm they look good. You're like fucking about Goldilocks. You don't get the MP. Like... You don't get the MP because they're too big. You don't get the legends because they're too small. You get the chug because it's just right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, then. So moving on to Magic Square Toys legend scale figures. Uh, I don't know who it is, but I've heard this company is somebody else. Like a bigger company, this is like a sister company to. It like better just, not be Mech <laughs> Fans Toys. That's like well, Mech Toys or something. I don't know. Considering they're all fucking knockoffs for the most part. Um, These don't look like knockoffs. What are you talking about? No, the fuck, yeah. they don't. Look at that fucking. Look at Inferno. Tell me that's not not a KO. Who, who the hell has ever done a fucking like four inch Inferno? Yeah. Look at that fucking sea spray. Tell me that's not a fans toy sea spray. I did do that. It's not. I'm looking at him. He's right next to me. It doesn't look like Fans Toy Sea Spray. What are you talking about? Are you drunk already? <laughs> are you triggered? <sighs> it doesn't look I'm like. Little, it doesn't I'm a little look bit like, triggered. It doesn't look like Fans Toy Sea Spray at all. No. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It looks like Sea Spray. <clears throat> Tyler, tell him. I. It just the overall shape of it just looks like they downsized it a little bit. Yeah, but I'm looking well, at it right duh. now. It's not, it's, even, supposed it's not to, even close. It's supposed to look like the fucking character. <laughs> it's, it's, just, like, it's just like how Grimlock, <laughs> like all that Grimlocks look like they're copying each other because everybody God. nailed it. Man, that's I'm not just even saying close. the aesthetic of it looks, it looks close to the Fans Toys one. I'm, but I, I'm holding the hand, Fans Toys one in my hand right now. Right, and let me guess, the fucking Cyclonus said to do is the fucking knockoff of the Perfect Fusion? Oh, yeah, well, definitely. It sure looks like it. Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there is not. They don't look anything. The legs are completely different <laughs> on that thing. What's the fucking point of these anyway? They're not. I mean, I don't get because it. Because I need an even smaller sea spray. And I, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I want. I want. I want a fucking inferno that if I get locked up, I can smuggle him into fucking jail in my look, ass. JC, I'm gonna sell it to you this way. All right. All right. Look at the next set. It's the Stunicon. These are going to scale about the actual size of G1 Stunicons. So when we have these in hand, it's going to feel like what the fuck we wanted the Stunicons to feel like in 1984. How do you the, know what they're going to scale with? Not to mention, like, how the hell is this? This Ultra Magnus isn't a knockoff either of anything. No, I didn't say that was. I think oh, I think the problem is is that there's a lot of really good options for Sea Spray, and a lot of them look alike because Sea Spray is an easy shape to do. Yeah. How do you how do you know they're legend scale? Because it's come out and said they're fucking legend scale. The measurements when? are Where? on the screen. I don't see no fucking measurements. You can't read <laughs> fucking Chinese. That's why. <laughs> well, what the fuck, man? You should have translated that shit. Don't suck it. <laughs> you can't translate a photo. Yeah, he can. Chris can. But do anyways, anything. they all look good except for Beachcomber's car mode looks stupid as shit. Beachcomber looks great. His car mode looks stupid. Mm. Better than the Hasbro one, though. But I mean, like these are all these all look to me like they're super G one, right? Yeah. Are they gonna fit with your Iron Factory and shit that doesn't look 100 percent super G one? I I think they're supposed. I think they're gonna be closer in size to the newer DX nine figures, which would be perfect. Yes, and DX nine is doing G one cartoon. Mm hmm. How do you keep all that shit straight? I don't know. How do you keep yourself straight? <laughs> By not getting high every day? Uh, not every day. How's that sour diesel treating you? Awesome. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. All right, so do we want to ask? I'm buy, I'm buying, I might buy all this shit if it's cheap. I am buying every one of them. Because I have a need for some of these characters in G1 style that I already have the Iron Factory of. When that fucking Motormaster comes out, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna jizz in my pants. 
<laughs> I don't see the Motor Master. It's not. It's not. They don't have a picture of it yet. What would you do if like all the other ones are great? Then they put out the Motor Master. And it looks like that fucking Combiner Wars one. Then I'll use Lone Wolf. <laughs> and he'll just have little tiny arms and legs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's not laughs> no, dude. Dude, you could take the lone wolf and you could just mm. tape these guys to his arm and legs. Mm. <laughs> like l- little Tyrannosaurus Rex hands. Yeah. I can't, uh. I can't touch my peener. <laughs> Beware, <a> Menethor. <laughs> <laughs> I must get uh, my Peter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. right then. So let's move Speaking on. Speaking of can't reach your painter. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is this picture? I just it just popped up. This guy with that long head, with like he's half bald. What? What the fuck? In the man? in the group, Chris, you posted this. Oh, it's just oh, somebody just the... posted it. It looks like I don't a... see it. It looks like a picture of a guy being interviewed at some kind of sporting event or yeah. something. <laughs> Where is it? It's on it's, WTF. It's the... Yeah. Oh, we ain't got time for that right now. I mean, we're doing yeah, a show. Like, we're, we're fucking doing a show. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just so I'm looking, Facebook. At I'm looking at something else that, that nobody's going to buy and the company's going to go under. Yes, it's the uh, mm. DNA Arishi. Arashi. <laughs> what? It's not Arishi, it's Arashi. Is it? Whatever I want it to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not buying it. You know, uh, once I uh, say Tron in your life. Is that hey, somebody wanted to, to say what this actually is? That that's supposed to be action Garbage. master Banzai Tron. But he's not an action yeah. master. He transforms. Well, because Hasbro did the same repaint uh, they released at retail from the bludgeon that they did in the uh, Hunt for the Decepticons line. Mm-hmm. So just, they're, they're just copying what Hasbro did. I'm yeah. sure somebody needs this, just not me. Yeah, I don't want It to. looks fucking stupid. It'll, it'll look good with your movie figures, maybe. It looks like a movie figure. No, I mean... Nah, man, these are junk quality. They're not great quality. I, it, it's the same as the, uh, the bludgeon, and I have it. And it's fine. Would you recommend it to your friends? No. Would no. you sell it for thirty-five dollars to me? No. <laughs> Basically, no, it must be okay. It it's definitely on the display, not play fucking list. No. Oh. It's like it's got to go and tell the other toys that it lives in the neighborhood now. Hmm. Will you trade it up if there's something better that comes along? No. Well. Well, if no? Chris ref- if Chris refuses to transform it, it basically became an action master, so it fills the hatch. <laughs> yep. Did you ever transform it? Oh yeah, I transformed it once. Was it like was it like terrible? It wasn't fun. Uh, it, that sucks because it looks pretty simple. It the pat it's got a lot of panels and a lot of the panels are thin and it, they're held on by small ball joints and everything's got to move a certain way to get out of the way. I'm sure that's not a movie figure. Dude, I'm, it's a real fucking tragedy because it looks so fucking good. Mm-hmm. Well, if you but glue all the joints, it makes a nice statue. You know, like, it, it I really want to buy it, but... Because, I, I mean, I, I still like my uh, Hunt for the Decepticons bludgeon, and if this would have been a improved version of that, it, like the QC would have been there and the design would have been there, I probably would have replaced it, but uh, I'm fine with what I got. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not screaming for a, a masterpiece size bludgeon, then don't. What about a prostate bludgeon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, that might be coming. V- visit uh, JC's room during TFCon. He'll hook you up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, my wife's coming next year, man. I got to be good. Oh, Aww. man. If you're at Tyler, it's safe. You can come this one. Damn wife is cock blocking you, isn't she? You goddamn yeah. wife bringing motherfuckers. Hey man, my wife likes it there, so. And my wife. Does Sheila wants to see Matt. <laughs> yes, she does. Oh man, you better. There, keep the, an there eye you out. go. You just need to pawn charity off on Matt, and then you can do all the shit you want. Well, I could do it anyway. I mean, I don't have to rape Tyler, and I can probably drag him in the bathroom if I really need to. <laughs> Oh, like I destroyed oh. your bathroom? <laughs> oh, Everybody dude, destroyed his bathroom. Fuck, man. Fuck all y'all. 
non-room having motherfuckers. And, and you know what? You know what? Notice something? You never even fucking saw where my room was. Did nope. You, you know what floor I was on? Twelve. No, I was on eight. Were you? Yep. Yeah, he didn't want remember. nobody to know where his room was. <laughs> nope. He's afraid one of y'all motherfuckers was a narc. No, I knew they would come in and fucking shit up this place. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point of TFCon and friendship. <laughs> friendship. <laughs> All right, so fuck uh, this piece of shit and on to the next piece <laughs> of shit. Go ahead, JC. I know you're chomping at the bit for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it looks like you could hawk up that fucking little tank. It's tiny. That is stupid looking. <laughs> now, oh. let me say this. <laughs> it looks like weaponized AIDS. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Despite uh, despite looking like a bottle of perp. Um I do like that they let the kids finger paint this one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's gonna have a price point of a hundred bucks. Uh, no, that's what people are saying. No. We don't know for sure. I thought I saw a uh, actual I, retailer put it out. We saw that little ad, but that might be just mean a, a hundred rubles deposit. <laughs> So. <laughs> no, nah, there was somebody asking for a deposit for a hundred dollar retail. Yeah, I think price. I saw Sarah had it. Oh, uh, um, I mean, but I'm gonna fall. get it. I'm gonna get it because I like that little dude that comes with it, and I can repaint this fucking thing to be a guardian. And that'll damn, be I was gonna offer you like ten bucks for that little dude. Nope. Are you gonna like get that pile sweating. of vomit sitting next to it too? No, you can have that. <laughs> you get that yourself. It comes with it. I mean. <laughs> I aesthetically, I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, just like the outline of the figure, it's not terrible. I just, I can't wait to buy it at Dollar General. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't look. <laughs> it any... looks like it looks like one of those plastic shark bots they have at Dollar General. Yeah, um, it doesn't look anything like the image that was leaked around TFCon Toronto. Um, that looked like a Erector set or fucking bunch of girders and shit hanging together. Uh, which, uh, coincidentally, every fucking track on this thing is on his back. <laughs> yeah. You don't have the side <laughs> shot up there, but you can see it. No. I mean, it's all his fans' toys, and it doesn't have that problem. No, not at all. But, yeah, I, I'm going to get this for the Guardian robot and for that little dude. Yeah, I'd take that little dude separately. Like, you know, I'd pay I 30 remember, bucks for him. I can't remember who that little dude is. You probably shouldn't. I didn't remember until I saw the, the, the animation shot. I do like that cock holster they give you that holds your dick up after you get dick cancer and can't get hard no more. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what is, what is that supposed to do? Is it supposed to go and hold him? because It it, it probably holds the rocket in flight mode. Ah, uh, gotcha. I think I could use it to hold my painter up. Your wife could use it on the nightstand to hold her dildo. Mm. <laughs> you know. That rocket could double as a dildo. Possibly. It no, man, that's, 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 that's some hazardous plastic right there. <laughs> Claws Cervical open. Cervical cancer. <laughs> God, dude. Oh, it's an abortion tool. I wonder if they made his <laughs> arm. Oh, shut up, man. Wow. Wow. wow dude. Yeah, because that other thing is a speculum. <laughs> <laughs> We're all doing to hell. Oh man, it's like a whole playset when you really look at it now. <laughs> the little, the little, the little red blob, <laughs> little white, white, like little doctor wearing fucking white scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> you got what looks the like weed. a trash. You got a trash compactor in the middle of it. Yep. <laughs> the fucking weed jank, fucking abortion, fucking. <laughs> shit. Yeah. And, and then, and then you have the tank on the tracks that keeps the protesters away. Yeah. <laughs> and and the tank, the tank is small. Yeah, it is. is very small, very small. I think Iron Factory is making the tank. <laughs> They're making the rest of it. Oh, so that was a good laugh. You know what I, I do? I, Hold I on. I, hope I do like one thing about it. What? What? 
I like the fold out. Uh, no, I like the fold out launch pad. See, I don't like the launch pad compared to the other options you get. Mm-hmm. I, I just think that's cool that they did that. You know, it just folds out, looks right like from the chest, and you can set the rocket on top of an actual launch pad instead on the floor. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Having such a little tank with such a big head, it reminds me of like Armada Overload uh, with that little itty bitty truck that pulls the trailer that's the majority of the body and then it's got that oh, giant yeah. head. Oh, yeah. That thing is cool, though. It's a hard figure to come by, especially the Ultra Magnus version. Still like two, three hundred bucks. I said I, I said it before. This is the one that you get to keep your kids from fucking with your fans toys one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, Timmy, you can't play with this. Here, play with this. Look at this. Wow. I mean, the face do not that bad either. I mean, look at the face. It's not bad. Well, and just Here think. You go. Of, play with wait, this while I go get a pack of cigarettes. Uh, with, <laughs> with all the money you save when fans' toys reduce their price, uh, you can actually afford to get this, right? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I hope it's decent for 100 bucks. I just don't have a lot of faith that it will be. And I'm not going to find out. All right. How tall is it? Uh, Does anybody know how tall it is? It's supposed to be 60 centimeters. Yeah, which is 23 and a half inches. Okay, so that's pretty big. That's about as big as fans' toys. 35 J.C. Painters. <laughs> Can you buy this at J.C. Painters? Yeah. <laughs> you buy a Dollar you... General. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe Family Dollar. We had, we had to start the TKO, uh, like, dollar store or whatever family dollar and call it jc peeners jc peeners yes yes, yes. Works. <laughs> <laughs> all right moving on to zeta toys mp scale superior they they need to put the wings on the side of them legs because it looks dumb without the wings on the side it, and it looks nothing like the cartoon model i mean i guess they're going for a different aesthetic I mean, it, it, it would look better like it if it had the wings on the legs. Because, like, on the cartoon, I think the wings hung out of the side of the legs. Just one wing. Just like maxi pad wings? Sure. Well, everything on this is red and white. Might as well be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I'm probably not going to buy it, but I don't know. I'm going to buy it. You're going to buy it because it's too big for Chug. I know I'm, uh, excuse me. I'm gonna still gonna buy it though because I like it. The individual bots do look good. I did see those in person. I'm, I am I am thinking that I, I don't care for this combined mode that much, but it also probably is just because it's like just two two different limbs on it. Really, it doesn't have any variety. Yeah, it probably needs a whole lot more color to look good because right now it just looks kind of meh. It looks solid. I'll give them that. Hands look decent. Mm-hmm. And like I said, the individual bot modes I saw at TFCOM did look really good. So they do have that going for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if it, I'm in on it. I don't know. I still don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't really want them for the combined mode, but I wouldn't mind having them as MP jets. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't remember how big they were compared to the MP cars and everybody else. So I think they are pretty big. I'll Toy. wait for Generation Toy to make one. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be good. That's a bad idea. That's a good idea, too. I mean, <laughs> fuck. Uh, decisions, man. I know I need a Superion in my life, but... I got that Combiner Wars one with the feet and hands. It's actually the best Combiner's War combiner they made. Yeah, I got it too, but yeah. like, you know, I just need to upsize my Autobots, and I don't know if I'm going this size or if I'm going Generation Toy size or what. Upsize your painter. <laughs> upsize your face here in about two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and pull this fucking podcast over and beat your ass. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I can take a whooping. <laughs> I know your mom told me. (laughs) (laughs) All right, now we're getting into your mom territory. Let's move on to the custom spotlight. Uh, Let's see. This is a custom wooden Metroplex. Care of Chinese characters, Jim, Chinese characters, Kenson Lee on Weibo. Um, 
It looks to be about four to five feet tall. Nice. Um, it's. I've seen the process of the, this being made. I, it's was started a couple years ago, and it's fan fucking tastic. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Do they have the plans online? I don't know. I could build this. You can woodwork like this? Yeah. Cool. Because <clears throat> look, you can see um in the second picture, Omega's back there. The fans' toys. Yeah, yeah that's a it's big ass thing. Fucking cool, man. Where would you put it? <laughs> no, dude, you gotta build like a 50 scale bigger one in your backyard. You can play in like a fort. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That'd, be so, uh, that'd be so tight. I don't think the neighbors would like that, but that'd be so cool. And the ramps of fucking sliding board. Whee! Yeah. What is it? A plate <laughs> for it? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to build it, you know. Mm-hmm. It'd probably take a couple of years, you know, just fiddle out in the garage, you know, every day for a little while. Nah, I'd just, just hire somebody to build it. Mm. Like somewhere, somewhere where there's like really cheap labor. You can just pick up somebody from Lowe's in the morning or Home Depot. <laughs> you want to stand out front. What is this? Just make it. Hush. <laughs> Shit. Wait a minute. How tall is Omega? Uh, two feet. Two feet. Okay. Well, the first. Oh, he's taller than two feet, isn't he? No, nah, he's, he's right up with uh, fucking Fort Max. Oh, Fort, Fort Max, Max is, is almost two feet. Then he's if, 24 inches. So. If, he, if he's two feet, then this fucking thing is six foot tall because they got a picture oh, of him yeah. standing in front of it. Yeah, that's bigger than me. God damn. I think it's awesome. Big boy. I need like two of these. I like how it fully transforms into a city you can play with. It just needs painted, man. It would be so fucking cool. Yeah. I kind of wish they had, I mean, it probably would be too heavy, but it would have been kind of cooler if they did it in metal instead of wood. Oh yeah. Well, wood be, wood's really heavy. I mean, so. I mean, it would have been more permanent. I feel if it was metal instead of wood. But then again, metal rust. So. But if they epoxy yeah. the wood, it'll last forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could have made them out of aluminum. They can't. They could have made them out of gold. Never mind. <laughs> I won't say what I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Who's a. Uh... And who's a hot spot is that in that picture? I uh, don't know. I think that's TFCs. Oh, uh, somebody yeah. found a use for those things? Oh, uh, yeah. TFC. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, there's all the protective bots sitting there and then MP10 sitting on the helipad. Yeah, that TFC one, man, that was kind <laughs> of an ugly cool, figure. Man. You see the man. Do you see the shot of Optimus sitting in the chest? Yeah, yeah. he's just popping out. Like the little dude from. Tight, dude. Imagine how much fucking work went into this. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It would be really cool as if the legs were fridges, little mini fridges. <laughs> Put your beers in there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Right. We don't know who made this. I just saw it and think it's fantastic. But obviously it's it custom, so it fits. It looks like it's in a wine cellar, dude. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe, 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 he, maybe he's a giant cask. No, he, maybe he's a giant sommelier. A what? Somalian? <laughs> no. Sommelier is a, a wine steward. Oh, I don't know what the hell that is. You goddamn uncivilized. <laughs> yeah, he's not smart. I had a smart once. You had a smart once. It got beat out of me. As well, it should. Okay. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty intelligent. I just don't know a fuck all about wine because I don't care. Good boy. Because I like chicks. No, you don't. <laughs> you like a chick. You're right. You're right. I just don't like wine because it makes me feel bad when I wake up. It's too oh, sweet, just like me. Oh, alcoholism. Yeah, I don't have nothing here. I'm dry right now. Sucks. Uh, I got like one beer and fuck one beer. <laughs> Speaking of sucks, here comes the yeah, corner. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
No way they're made out of fucking tang. <laughs> tang. What we have here is a <laughs> second company. Uh, I think it's called J.J. Abrams. No, it's called Gravity <laughs> Builder uh, J.J. Constructicons. It's called um, just, uh... Yeah. So far, they've shown Long Haul Scrapper and Mixmaster. They're the Generation Toy knockoffs. Um, and they look like crap. But I Actually, think... I don't think they look bad. No, but I think the Generation Toy toys look like crap. Oh, well, you're dumb. <laughs> well, these look like that kind of plastic that sticks to your fingers if it's hot outside. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably melt these with a lamp. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Look at Scrapper's eyes, dude. Look at how rough that edge is on there. Yeah. How much are they? They're probably like, like $13 a piece, probably. Yeah, like $14, $15. Bucks. Or, like no or like $25 EBT. Look, man. You swap out <laughs> for them. <laughs> Look, JC's gonna get him. No, I'm not. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the real fucking uh, G2 one that's coming out. Yeah, these these don't look that great, man. They like they got the scrappers got those stumpy legs like the green one did. Mm-hmm. It's like a dwarf. No, I bought the um the green scrapper, the NBK knockoff, so I can make um scoop out of them. Oh, I thought you were gonna make weaponized plastic. No. <laughs> and that was a piece of shit. It, it is, yeah, it's kind of bad. Oh, you got it too? No, one of my friends had it. I checked it out. So, were you able to salvage it to actually make scoop? Yes. I already got the generation scoop. Well, he's too small for me. Too small? Too small. Well, now you can get scoop, yeah, but you don't have to repaint small. him because he's orange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no affinity for an orange uh, devastator, so. Fuck all this mess. All of the devastators. All right. Well. So nobody's buying this. No. Nope. Nope. So, what you got next for us, Chris? Where the fuck is Tyler? Is he here? Yeah, I'm here. He's here. Okay. He's been talking. Uh, Where's bed bugs? I'm here. All right. All right. Where's your cat? Where's your pussy? He's laying on the couch right now. Lazy ass cat. Go fucking slap him in the face. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Instead of smacking your pussy, let's talk about Mech Fans Toy Scourge. Bleh. No. Bleh. We need it. Wah, wah, wah. It looks no, like he's jerking, look bad. It. he's jerking that gun off. It doesn't look bad because it's a design for somebody else that didn't look bad. Oh, that's he's right. Jerking that, he's jerking that gun off. You see him? Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's like, I'm going off half cocked. He's hitting it from the back, too. Switched it up. That's how he likes it. You know what I mean? Um, but it looks like, just like they did with the Cyclonus, they put a, uh, a thigh swivel in um, and some other improvements over the original design. And it's bigger. And the colors are right. I wish it was classic size. I might buy it. Yeah, I'll probably get a couple of these just to have the sweeps. I'd rather have the damn ones we got already from fucking Hasbro. Yeah, those aren't bad. Nah, he's good they're looking. fucking headmasters, and that that bothers me. Yeah, don't have to take the head off. Yeah, I to know, transform but it, it looks you do. dumb. That's why I don't like it. Yeah, but Scourge had a, a, a tapered head, just like a, a piece of poop. Yeah, it's not a square. <laughs> like he pinched it off. Yeah. And this head sculpt looks good. Yeah. The head sculpt is like three angles on it. I got cigar on the I'll get it and I'll let you know how it is. Yeah, please do, sir. All right. So moving on from this is what's next? What's next? Asshole of the week. <laughs> how it... are we, asshole of the week? I'm doing fine. <laughs> I, I, I'm also Wait. doing fine. It's us again? Yeah, we have dual again. assholes of the week, I think. <laughs> yeah, fucking in We should save yours for later, though, Chris. Okay. We should save yours. All right. Well, I'll talk about mine for a second. Because um, you're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, early last week, I think it was, 
I got a wild hair up my ass and came up with the idea of fans toys marks as in skids mark skid marks. <laughs> uh, my boy Chris here, he came up with a with a render, and then Bugs, he whited out the render and took a screenshot of his computer and we had it posted online by our good friend Yol Ablamo. Shout out to Yol. It was a coordinated attack. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it hit the internet for a while, and you know everything was going good until some dick fucking tarred and on TFW outed us because, uh, you know, we used a, a what'd you use, Chris? A I, custom? Yeah, I think um, the guy's name was Jared. It was from 2010. And actually, I I had known about this custom, and which is why I went to choose it, because I thought it was very good. It um, is pretty good. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks better than the X-Transbots one we're getting. Kind of, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more clean. It looks more MP. Mm-hmm. So I knew right where to go to get, you know, a, a different enough looking skids. And then I had to take them into Photoshop and do some shit to them. And I made, you know, the traditional grayed out model on the fan toys background. And then, you know, Bugs did his bit and it went like wildfire. But the people at TFW did suss it out. And of course, you're correct. I mean, the, all I did was take the goddamn weapons off the arms. It's fucking same pose, same everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we we should pro- probably should have uh, like flipped the image so it was looking the opposite direction. Maybe they would have figured that out too. Yeah, they probably should have just warped it's it like, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll flip the image and they won't be able to tell. Well, ha- can't crack that fucking code. <laughs> <laughs> you should have made it a different color. Well, it wasn't green. You know Shit. what? In in this millennial society where they're taking selfies every fucking five minutes of, of themselves, they they understand the whole backwards fucking thing. It's like mm-hmm. second nature to them. Mm-hmm. Like I can read every Hollister shirt front and back way. <laughs> What's up? But anyway, that was our uh, that was our prank for uh, the last couple weeks, and um, it went well. And I I think it I think it's gonna be hilarious if Fans Toys steals my name. Yeah, they should call it Marks. They have our. Because that's a good fucking name for. Yeah, that's a good third party name for his kids. Yeah, and it shows a sense of humor. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, to be fair to everyone, you get you guys had me fooled too for a while. I did not nice. know it was you guys. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> no, I, did. And I had some. A lot of people my... still don't. You know, a lot of people still don't know it was us, but uh, we're ready to claim responsibility. Yeah. That's the second prank we've done that one of my my real life friends asked me about. <laughs> I was like, no, that's just us on the internet being assholes. Who asked you? My buddy Paul. <laughs> he's like he's like one of my oldest friends in the fandom. He like posted it up. I'm like, e-. he's like, oh man, dude, look at this. And I'm like, I got bad news for you, man. Because <laughs> that's the one thing that me and him, that's one of the things me and him have in common is we both love some fans' toys. <laughs> I'm like, first off, can this not leave? Can you not tell anybody what I'm gonna tell you? He's like, yeah, man, what? I'm like, yeah, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> that, what, what was the last one? Oh, and he also the Ollie's thing actually came back to me too. <laughs> Ollie's fake toys. Oh, Ollie, yo, man, what's up? Why didn't you let me know? Oh, it was not real. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know we're we're pretty good at fooling people, aren't we? There we are. Oh, like when we did that um with that white Optimus Prime at Seven Eleven before. Oh I yeah, did. that was pretty funny too. <laughs> <laughs> I had people messaging me like, "How did you get that?" It's like it's like when we when we covered your eyes and we put that hot dog in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a perfect segue into our meet our guest segment. <laughs> <laughs> What's your per- what's your preferred manhandle? <laughs> <laughs> so tonight is our resident youngin in the group. Um, he goes by Tyler, or he comes to shut up, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Tyler Fulcher. Yay, everybody clap. Yay. Um, Yay. The Falchmeister. Are you ready to submit to the 13 questions? 
That's a, that depends if they're the same 13 questions you guys ask everyone else. Dude, look, yeah, they, have, look, have look. they been modified for me? I'm telling you, I'm not fucking with you now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now. Um, number one, <laughs> what's your preferred name or handle? Uh, just, just Tyler. Yeah, I mean, I, I have T Ferno on YouTube for the few things that I've reviewed and a couple other things, but just, just Tyler is good. Why T Ferno? Is it because you're hot? <sighs> no, it's, it, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, because you're hot? No, God, fuck no, no, I'm not hot. Yeah. G1 Inferno is my favorite Autobot, so I figured why not. Okay, and that's a fair answer. What about Disco Inferno? <laughs> no. Oh, you're too young for that. What year were you born? 2003. <laughs> <laughs> no, 93. Mm. Ugh. I was already two years Actually, out of high school. Um, I was still young in 93. It's like, November now, so in like, what, December, Jan in two months, it'll be my birthday. I'll be 25. Happy birthday if you make it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't crash a plane that you're working on. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite sandwich? What is my favorite sandwich? Let's see. I want to say the best sandwich I've ever had. It had to be at Primani Brothers. Ew. No, it was good. It was really good. And the first time I ever had Primati Brothers, it was with um, Greg, Greg coming back from Bobby's party. Mm -hmm. What kind of sandwich was it? Uh, I believe it was a corned beef sandwich. You can tell so what they put on it. There's not, it's a little bit more special than that. Oh, it was, it was, so, it was so long ago. I only had it once because it's in West Virginia. Now I'll tell you what it, it was is. It was in West Virginia. It's, um, they put French fries and coleslaw on the sandwiches. That mm. sounds kind yeah, of okay. Yeah, there was, yeah, corned beef, sure. beef, French fries, if you coleslaw. Like, if you like fucking coleslaw -y flavored fucking wet French fries over top of fucking meat, that's fantastic. I thought you weren't ever eating roast beef again anyways, Chris. No, I just said for a year. Um. Mm. Um, okay, what's your favorite music? Um, anything really besides of country and rap. I'm with you on the country. I don't like country and I, I don't like rap. And be, pretty much everything between like 80 and 87. I listen oh, to that's rap. all my favorite shit. I can yeah. hear the disapproval in JC's silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, that's not, that's not his disapproval. That's just him breathing on the mic again. <laughs> <laughs> I think he got his fucking vape pipe stuck in his throat. <laughs> All right. So, All right. Since, since you're not old enough to have a back, what got you into collecting? Um, actually, it it started out back in, I think it was in the original Robots in Disguise came out. What's that? 2000. 2001. 2000. 2001, yeah. Um, I really wasn't into Transformers at all, but my father collected them, and he had all of his G1s, and he had the Beast Wars figures. And I came home from school one day, and there was... Um, the bullet train transformers. Um, I forget their names right now, but rail I used spike. to like, yeah, rail spike, um, midnight express. It, yeah. 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 And then the rapid run, was that the third one? Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah. And, uh, I, I used to like trains like a lot. I really, really like trains. You so heard. I <laughs> saw the three, the three bullet train transformers in the show. And from that point on, I just like Transformers. I started collecting them in 2001. And from 2001 to about 2006, I pretty much had everything that they put on the shelves. Tyler, how old are your, uh, your parents? I want to say... What do you mean you want to say? You don't fucking know? Trick question. Chris is your dad. <laughs> I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I want to say 44 and 46. 
Mm. Wow. Yeah, uh, I'd probably hang out with your parents, too. Chris is cutting himself. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, tell your mom what's up. Oh, <laughs> oh that's horrible. <laughs> All right, what scale do you collect? I'm mostly Masterpiece, but I collect Legends, too. Okay. Yay. You don't like Chug? Uh, they got they got too um, cheap, and they all turned to garbage, and they no longer captured my int- interest at all, so I got rid of them. I've got a little Slug Slinger oh. and a little Decepticon clone that would make me, make me, make me differ with you. <laughs> nah. nah. Once they started forcing a gimmick back into the line for everything, I got out. You don't like being forced? <laughs> nope. I was going to say, the only uh, chug he's interested in is if it's cut, chug, and cum. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, man. Let's get these questions <laughs> <out of> play. <laughs> do you have a focus collection, or do you collect anything that is not Transformers? Um... I try to collect like Inferno when I can. I mean, there's it's two there's two little characters of it made, which is why I want the Legends one. I try to collect Inferno. Um, I did collect Marvel Legends, but I got out of it again. And then I got out of Star Wars Black series. I was just spending too much money on everything else. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, to KO or not to KO? I'm going to say to not KO. All right. What movie makes you cry? Um, American History X. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I haven't cried no for watching a movie in a long time. L- I... Land Before Time? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I want to say the movie that I can remember crying at was Lion King back when I was really, really young. When Mufasa died? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what's uh, sad is The Lamp of Four Time is probably on one of those like vintage uh, movie channels. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. All right. Have you done anything untoward for your toy addiction? <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> never stole anything. Not. You never taken anything back. Mm, no, no. I don't lie. Never no, no. stole anything. That guy. I stole a gummy bear from a store when I was really, really young, and I got beat for it. One yeah. gummy bear. Yeah, ah, gummy bear. <laughs> Single gummy yeah. bear. Yeah, my mom. Oh, she. She's God, like, was you're you... not gonna. We're not gonna have a thief in this house. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! You were basically sampling at that point. <laughs> you were stealing. You were sampling. I I took it out of. You remember when they used to have like the the candy all in like the wooden like dispenser with the fold plastic lid over it. Yeah, they still have put that. it in a bag. Yeah, yeah. Well, I took it out of there and I waited till we were out of the store and then I ate it. <laughs> you were like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you ate it. <laughs> yep. My mom made me spit it out and she. Like, what are I you cackling beat. about? <laughs> She made you spit it out and then she beat you? When we got home, yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Like, no I'm... thieves here. No thieves. And then did you beat her next time she ate a grape when she was picking produce? No. Oh. no. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty harsh, man. I see she's oh. raising my boy right. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. All right. All right, sir. Um... Tits, ass, legs, face, or other. What is your favorite? Or painter. Uh, or painter. <laughs> it, it starts with the face for me. If I, Good if answer. Funny, that's where it usually ends for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> if you got a good face, then I can uh, I, I pretty much should go on from there. I got to agree with you, man. Like, it's I've, hard to look at you. I've seen plenty of chicks with banging bodies and fucked up looking faces or, or something that just didn't work for me. And I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm off. Yeah, you see you see them with a nice bod and you walk up and they turn around. And you're like, uh, do you got a lighter? No. 
butter faces. <laughs> what do you need a lighter for? For that epic burn I'm about to give you. Uh, <laughs> all right. What's a weird thing about you? It's weird. I cannot Your mustache. Walk- i just haven't shaved in a while no i can't walk down an aisle if someone else is in it unless it's like a hot chick i don't like walking down aisles of people in them either wait a minute that's actually pretty good wait what the fuck is kind of mental illness are you guys talking about yeah i don't i don't get you can't walk it just guys or anybody like if if it's some fat soccer mom you know with like half Half a kid hanging from our ass and whatever. It doesn't matter unless it's unless it's a hot chick. Like I want to get uh, get up close and look at. I will not walk down the aisle. I walk completely around the store just to not walk down an aisle with someone else in it. Wow! And your congratulations. That's about the creepiest thing I've ever heard on this show. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. unless it's something I want to get close to. Yes. <laughs> something I gotta sneak up on and just look, but not touch. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I see you like Frosted Flakes too. <laughs> oh wow! All right. Um, <sighs> in, in the one time you had it, what's your go-to sex position? <laughs> Almost <laughs> shit myself, dude. <laughs> I gotta go check. <laughs> All right, what was the question? Because everyone started laughing before I heard it. I said, what's your go-to sex position? <sighs> um, I guess you start out with her on top. Okay. <clears throat> you want to walk us through this? <laughs> <laughs> Not on a podcast. No, I don't. <laughs> That's funny, dude. No. Oh, little Tyler's growing up. <laughs> All right, that was our get to know our guest segment with Mr. Tyler Fulcher. You start um start oh you start with him on top and you end with him in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I met her at I met her at Target. <laughs> I didn't want to go down the aisle, but something just told me I had to go down that aisle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it's fucking Tyler and Van fucking like with a shipment of fucking moths. He doesn't have a van, dude. He has one of those little airplane tow trucks. <laughs> 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 it's like a it's like a, a that, fucking no. ground based Stamboni. That's his thing. He fucking he puts the bodies in the luggage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that that's how I make sure that he can fit that uh, fans toys Omega Part A in the luggages. He takes the body out with True. him. <laughs> and he mutters to himself, he's like, "This one ain't gonna hit fit in the overhead compartment." <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a good show, man. I love you, Tyler, man. <laughs> you guys are great. Uh, you're like my little brother I never had to pick on. <laughs> the one that we can't find. <laughs> well, it's probably the moment that everyone's been waiting for. Yep. Our TKO <laughs> girls. Yay. Question mark. Yay. All right, let's go through it. Um, who's is this? Is this you, I Tyler? I think this one is. This one's Tyler. He doesn't have the show notes. I forgot to send him. To oh, him. I'm sorry. It's, oh. a, it's a redhead in a blue top. Uh, She's got like like a fishnet on, like a fishnet shirt. Yeah, it kind of looks like an upside down cross at the same time. Hold on a second. Let me go down to your history on your phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me go down to the basement and check on Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to Justin. Where where I'll check your check your messages yeah, to him. Check my messages. It's the last picture you sent me. 
I, 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 like, we all can't we can't laugh again because if I do, I'm a poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better okay, put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, boy. You got your shitting pants on. You got your <laughs> shitting pants on. Bring me my brown pants. <laughs> you better get a towel right, and it. put it on a chair. <laughs> I, I remember it now. Yeah, it is. I just I saw this. I like her face. She looks really, really cute. So. That's my favorite part of her too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. So uh, who's next? Is, is that the only reason? Uh, the, I like I, her eyes. Uh, the way, just the way her face is. I like long hair. I don't like short hair on women. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's, it doesn't look right to me. Some of them, they like that Q-tip hairstyle, and it's just really, really, I don't like it. Okay. How about that bicep? She got some nice looking arms, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that too. Nice big old shoulder muscle. So who's is the next one? Uh, that would be me. Uh, she is just a really cute um, brunette, I guess, in some tight jeans. And she's looking back at you. She's got pretty blue eyes. I, again, like Tyler said, it's the face. Um, doesn't hurt. Did you drop her off at school? Yeah, I did. That's what it looks like. <laughs> she's not that young, dude. Jesus. I don't know, man. I don't trust them nowadays. No, she's probably like 25. No, I wouldn't say that old. She's probably about 22. Yeah. She's probably like really? 19, like 18 and three quarters. I'd hit it. Oh, fuck yeah. Twice. I yeah. couldn't even fit my hand in her pocket, them tiny ass pockets. That's fine. She wouldn't let you get near her. Yeah. True. All right. Um, who is next? That would be me. <laughs> I would like to sh- introduce y'all to one of the most important things in my life, Rolaids. <laughs> Rolaids is basically condoms for food. <laughs> you don't want to get sick, you eat them Rolaids. <laughs> now, do you eat them before as as someone who has constant stomach issues myself? Mm-hmm. Do you eat them beforehand or after? Before drinking heavily or after eating really bad food. <laughs> and if both of those things occur, in that order. <laughs> and make sure you get the ones with the gas, because why waste your money? Exactly. I think that's so my main have... problem, is just it, my, my sh- stomach the just bloating. fills up so much gas. So, so do you always carry a few in your pocket in case you have an emergency LJS uh, session? No, because LJS don't mess with me, man. It's not bad. It's usually like other food. <laughs> Honestly, since I've, I mean, it, it may not sound like it from all the shit talking I do, but my diet's actually not that bad lately. I haven't really had to use much stuff like that. Cool. I haven't really had what? to take many roll aids recently. So, wait a minute, you change every, your diet? Every time and... you post something, every time you post something, it's either like a cheese biscuit from like Sausage Barn or something. Or yeah. something, <laughs> something oh, it's something covered in gravy. But you got to keep track of the intervals. It's like once a week, <laughs> once or twice a week. I used to eat pork roll every morning, like Ty- literally every morning. Oh. Tyler, look at yes. all the pictures that we post. Just because we post something that we think we like or whatever doesn't mean we eat it. <laughs> it's true. Just like, just like JC is never going to eat a catfish this big in this picture. Mm-hmm. Shit, I catch, I catch catfish bigger than that. Fucking on the regular. Well, let's talk about the little uh, fishy. Well, this is a channel catfish. This is my favorite species of catfish. What channel? Um, uh, Skinamax. Um, <laughs> you'll see me pic- post pictures online of uh, me catching these fucking things all day long. Um, Tyler has actually been a witness to my fishing uh, prowess. Glory, I guess it would be. Um, he seen me pull some fucking big catfish out of the water. Isn't that right, Tyler? Yep. How many yep. did you catch? Oh, one. It's more than I really caught this year. Count. Congratulations. Well, yeah, it did it, it count because nothing was I, biting. Mine. I caught it and gave you my pole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing gave was biting. You gave a little tug. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway I, anyway, I just really like the face on this catfish. <laughs> you like the face <laughs> on this catfish? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Uh, I want to cut it now. up. And, uh, face, I want to cut it up. And... Top or back fin? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Filet, side filet. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I like I'm gonna your cut so that much up. I'm gonna put it in some grease. I'm gonna eat it. Oh. Put it back in water. You know, channel catfish are very popular. You can find them in almost any river. Um, they're best caught on shrimp, night crawlers, chubs. Chub? <clears throat> you catch them with your chubs? <laughs> well, a chub is like a little bait fish. It's about six inches long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, want to see my little chub? <laughs> you got to like a little fucking drain at the bottom of your boat. You just lay down and stick your painter through and you pull the fucking fish up. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. They're, they're, fuck y'all. They're... <laughs> <laughs> they, they really are. They're called crick chubs, man. They crick fucking chub. go down. Crick, I go down to the yeah. crick and catch them. Did you say crip? Yeah, the crip chub. <laughs> Creek, man. That you down there the, that's, that's what we call it. Down up. there at the train tracks. We go down there to the train tracks, man, catch chubs all day. <laughs> fucking drink some past blue ribbon. Nice. So. All right. Yeah, uh, who's, uh, who's next delicacy is this? Oh, this is mine. I, I just wasn't feeling like picking any women this week. I, I wanted food. And, I want food, too. And I, I went with a steak because I was feeling nostalgic, and I missed that steak that we had when we were at TFCon because that was fucking good. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, it was good. <laughs> that fish I had was good. 50 fucking dollars good is what it was. <laughs> well, I mean, McCormick and Schmick's is a, um, it's a chain, so I'm sure they have it in a bigger city. I'm out in bumfuck Wisconsin, and we don't got that shit here. Yeah, I'm in a tourist town with no <laughs> like, chain restaurants. No, I said like Madison, a bigger city. Madison ain't got that shit. And even if they did, that's still three hours away for me. They they had that one steakhouse we went to, though, that was pretty good. What was that place called? Oh, the, the one you and me met up at, uh, Quaker Steak? Yeah, that was pretty good. A Quaker Steak and Lube? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They closed the only one that's within like five hours of me. Yeah. Oh, a, there's a couple of them here in Ohio. Oh, yeah, that's where they're from. I was more curious about the lube part. <laughs> but yes, this uh, this steak does look delicious. Yeah, it does. It looks really, like, juicy. Mm. Yeah, that's a ribeye for sure. Oh, fuck yeah. That's my it's favorite. Some, it's got some little cherry Me tomatoes too. on it. Matter of fact, I had a ribeye for dinner tonight. You nice. have a ribeye for every night for dinner. I know. Stop. Every night you don't go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on. We're well, on. hold on. Do we want to? Uh, we want to uh, talk about our second asshole of the week, real quick. Uh, I we guess, should. I guess we should. Yeah. Might as well. All right. Um. So. In the spirit of Halloween, and. <laughs> the trick-or-treating that goes on, since there was no way that we could treat ourselves, except to a really, really good laugh. Um, there's a segment called The Nighttime Naughty that I put on WTF every night, usually after 9 o'clock, after I put my sweet little children down to bed. <laughs> I sit down in my easy chair, and... You know, I light my pipe and I look through my phone and go on the internet and just post pictures um, of beautiful women that I would like to do depraved things to. Uh, And one of my biggest supporters is our very own Tyler Fulcher here. He comments comments on every single picture. Even after I got tired of doing it. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeses and nos. Yeses and nos. But I do want to ask you, what is is there a difference between a yes and a yay? Or is it just what yeah. your finger hits? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. What what are the between... subtle what are the subtleties of your rating system? About six beers. <laughs> 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 no, I usually if I if I love the picture and I put yes or anything with an exclamation point, that means definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, like with a yes is below that, and then a, li- a like with yeah is below that, mm-hmm. and then eh is below that, and so forth and so on. Okay, and when you like when you love one of them, 
that means you like really like that chick? Yeah, like I really like that picture. Okay. Um, you loved the picture this past week. Oh joy! It's probably a transvestite, isn't it? Um, every girl since Sunday has been a man. <laughs> joy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go sit on the toilet. <laughs> now, granted, granted, I will give you they are beautiful. They are flawless looking. They look like chicks. If you didn't see the next picture, and <laughs> I've seen all the pictures. <laughs> um, Does Chris beat off to this shit. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> you know. <laughs> They um, all had dicks, Tyler. Yes. <laughs> every, me fooled. every fucking one of them, dude. My big even, even your knockout of the week. <laughs> no way. So that makes me the co-asshole of the week. <laughs> um, but it wasn't... She does have a nice face. Now, I, th- I want to say this. This wasn't a trick to fuck you over. It just happens that you comment on every one. Um, those of you other guys who are on WTF and you like those pictures. What's that dude's name? Shout out to, um, what's his Yo. name? Uh, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to out anybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, li- their wives might be listening like JC. Yeah. <laughs> but you know who you are. And yeah. You like Peter. You like Peter. <laughs> as long as it has a nice face and tits. But granted, like I said. Those chicks are flawless, and I would fuck a couple of them, honestly. Gross. Yeah. 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 Tyler, did you commit suicide? (laughs) (laughs) Torch my balcony. (laughs) Yeah, but he's not going to jump. He's just going to witness, like, small petty crime in the parking lot. (laughs) No, he's going to fucking dump one of them off the uh, balcony. What is it, Tyler? I just watched someone's truck get repoed out of my parking lot. So. Nice. Nice. <laughs> now make it... how you know you live in a nice neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's a stolen truck that gets repoed. <laughs> no, it's just somebody who can't pay bills. Yeah. I got woke up one time at like 3.30 in the morning. It sounded like someone was doing a burnout. But I kept hearing it for like 45 seconds. I'm like, no one does a burnout for like 45 seconds to a minute. I looked, and someone had hooked up their tow truck to their car and pulled it the whole length of the parking lot to a spot where they could switch into the vehicle and drive away. Mm. So. <clears throat> They're taking it pretty well. That's fine. <laughs> you know, you got to roll with this fucking thing. Yeah. Mm. They, they were pretty, did a pretty good job, man. What did you say, Tyler? It's it's on the internet. Who cares what happens? I don't get offended over stuff on the internet like Legions does. Yeah. Yeah, but what what if one of these traps was in an aisle at a grocery store and you went up to her? <laughs> and you went all the way down there and got them frosted mini weeds. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? That's what they call it too. I found this on uh, Instagram and Tumblr of all fucking places under T Girl Traps. So you know, for those of you unfamiliar with the vernacular, T girl means transvestite girl, um, and trap meaning to trap someone. <laughs> and they, I'm they not can gonna get into that, but uh. <laughs> but no one would you, you, no one would fault you if you did tricking. go home. Uh, no, no, you shouldn't have to trick and trap someone. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> It's, it's not right. You should yeah, you just let him know up front and he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Tyler, every time you walk up to a woman in an aisle, the first thing you're going to ask is, do you have a penis? Um, he will now. <laughs> yeah, if, I will now. <laughs> he goes up there and gives her a pat on the crotch. <laughs> Good, no, Peter. How are you today, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> I see you like cereal, too. <laughs> Wait a minute, if somebody else is coming down this aisle, I gotta get. I gotta pat their crotch too, make sure they don't have painter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to our discussion discuss yeah, discussion it's slash disgusting. listener questions. Um it's a discussion. We don't have any listener questions because we don't have any listeners anymore. 
Um, oh, I lost them all last week. Yeah. Um, Only listen, I'm on the show. Yeah. So Tyler is listening right now, so it counts as one. Okay. And then when he goes home, he's going to listen on Edge browser. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he's going to jerk off and just hold off and keep edging to completion. Gross. Yeah. Well, you know, Edge no, browser is 13% faster than Chrome. True. No, he, uh, he's going to go through Facebook and delete all those comments he put <laughs> on the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I got to go lock comments. <laughs> but I'm telling you, dude. Hey, this isn't the ROC. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get a booth next year at TFCon, and we're just going to print all those comments and photos and lay them out on the table. Now, That's I'm, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to send you, send you the pick again, Tyler, but the one that you loved had an obvious package going on. Like, oh. it, she wore mesh panties, and their fucking balls are all smushed up. Also, <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, it was JC. <laughs> It was also catfish dressed as a woman are, in makeup. What are we talking about? I was flat earthing. <laughs> I got distracted. All right. <laughs> flat you earthing, is that, that what we're calling it now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see the dumbest things in that group. <clears throat> oh, it's fucking great, dude. I've been arguing with this transvestite chick all night. Nice. Hey, look, <laughs> it fits. It fits with you the name of the show. You should introduce her to Tyler. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> it's fine. I just called her out for having a dick and a fake profile. So, it's cool. So, then See you don't happens. know if she truly has a peener or not if the profile's fake. Oh. No, like, I've seen, like, she has pictures with her fucking package, like, hanging what? out. So. Why are you looking at that? Because <laughs> I scope everybody's profile if I'm talking to them. I got to put some of mine like that, too. Plus yeah. Yeah. He needs pictures to send to Tyler, too. Gross. <laughs> All right. I read something real stupid. I think it was in that flat Earth group. They're like, they're saying something like the Earth is flat, and then um, anyone that works on planes or has flown on planes is a secret government spy or whatnot. And it, it was just like, I'm lying because birds are really light and they can fly, but an airplane engine is heavy and that can't get off the ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These people have never been on a plane. Have they ever been on a helicopter? I don't no, think they they've been they... out of the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think they're too poor to fly on an aircraft, so they just assume that shit's not real so they don't miss it. Yeah. Yeah. See, the second you they start don't... talking that you think the fucking Earth is flat, I just turn you off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's about the dumbest fucking perspective you can have at, in 2017. Yeah, they, they, they say people will fall off the edge of the Earth. Well... The Earth is how old, and not one person's fell off the edge yet. It's only six thousand years old, Tyler. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Is that what I tell you in that little Jews for Jesus Hebrew school of yours, boy? <laughs> you see, you see, there's this book. <laughs> the King James Bible. No, um, where the red fern grows. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's a la- that's the last time I cried while holding a book. Mm. Wait, you mean the Earth is in 2017 years old? <laughs> it should be. All right, shut no, up, Tyler. Hey, hey did you shut guys up, see? Tyler. <laughs> shut did, up, Tyler. Did, did you guys see that one uh, conspiracy theory that r- rivals flat Earth, and that's the uh, phantom time theory, where like they they say that the Earth is like actually only like 1500 years old because they like added a bunch of time in between. The oh yeah, this I saw that. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> Are these people coming up with these? Are they like astrophysicists and shit, or are they just no. fucking meth heads? <laughs> like, there's like a That's from there's like a seven hundred year gap of time that I'm we woke can't as fuck because I got I, I'm woke as fuck because I got out of the government's brainwashing <laughs> by third grade. <laughs> Dropped out of school at third grade. <laughs> my mama, my mama tried to abort me with fucking tinfoil, but I wouldn't die. Mm. No, with that um, with that Wei Jang <clears throat> Omega clip that holds up the rocket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Jesus. you know there is no fucking rocket because you can't leave Earth's gravity, duh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you can't get past the radiation yeah. belt. Yeah, they're uh, the prostate. Yeah. I learned was... critical thinking from Jesse Ventura. It was yeah. cool. <laughs> it was cool. Kid Rock's my president. It was cool to see that uh, fake uh, space shuttle at the museum when we were at TFCon, right, JC? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, we did see that shit. I was tight. Oh, yeah, the only All way right. to get to the sun is to go at night. 
All right, let me steer this fucking ship back to the uh, end of it. Uh, reviews. Do reviews influence what you buy? Do you watch before or after you order a toy? The pros and cons of watching or not watching reviews. Discuss. I watch, t- I watch reviews after I buy a toy so I can see if the other people are right like me. Okay. The right yeah. or white? Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But do you watch them before you buy a toy, or do you already have your mind made up that that's what you're going to get? A lot, honestly, a lot of times I already have my mind made up before I order something, but if I see a bunch of really shitty reviews on it, I might not get it still. Hmm. But, like, there's uh, some figures, like, you know, you could do a review on it, and, like, uh, like oh, yeah, Bobby Skullface, for instance. Who? Yeah, mm. I know. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of him or not. It's, it's, kind of new <laughs> but um making his bones he, uh, he posted that he was doing the coot review the next day and i was like i was like can't wait to see it but it could cuss you out and spontaneously combust on you and i'm still gonna order that motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> no. but yeah a lot of times reviews do help me like decide on if i want something or not but if i really 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 want it even the worst review won't stop me from wasting my money now, has, has anything ever stopped you um, his wife <laughs> yeah she stopped me a few times <laughs> but not really often enough uh, let me think about that and I'll get back to you alright uh, Bugs uh, as far as reviews uh, I only watch a select few and that's if I'm really bored uh, mainly uh, Matthew Deluxe oh, Spotamus <clears throat> no and uh <laughs> Really, that doesn't affect whether or not I want anything from established companies. I do find them useful for when a new company comes out, and then they can kind of give you how to gauge how this new line is going to turn out. Um, But otherwise, the only other reason I'd watch for reviews is if I have a somewhat complicated figure and I can't find the instructions, so I'll watch them transform it in the video so I know how to do it. Okay. Like, yeah, that that's pretty much it. All right, JC. Hmm. Let's see. I pretty much I pretty much stay away from uh, all reviews until I've already ordered the figure, and then I'll watch the review. I don't I don't want my uh, figure buying based on somebody else's opinion. So I buy a figure, then I'll watch the review, figure out how to transform it. Um, the one time it did save me though is uh, that fucking um, that bludgeon we were talking about earlier today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the you know, review for that kind of saved me too. Yeah, I mean that being a new company and all, I, I clicked on um, I don't know whose review I clicked on, but I watched it and I was like, "Fuck, my dreams mm-hmm. were shattered." I walked around pouting all fucking day. Mm-hmm. Your wallet, your wallet wasn't shattered that day. And I still. Still wanted to order it after it, but I fought. I fought it. You know, what I mean, I didn't buy it. Yet you gave in on that Leonidas. Mm. I did. God damn. And I didn't watch any reviews on that either. <laughs> you should have. And I guarantee you, the fucking the Susanna is a fucking lot better than that Leonidas. <laughs> Probably. Probably. So nope, I don't let them influence me. I just let them help me along the transformation, and I like to watch them after the fact to see what other people think on them. All right, Tyler. Uh, I want to say the only thing that's only review that stopped me from buying something was um, when Bobby did all three of the Predakings between MMC, TFC, and uh, the other toys. one. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, after watching his um, MMC video, I was going to buy the TFC one, but after watching his MMC video and a couple other people telling me don't buy the TFC one. That's about the only review that really influenced me. But other than that, um, basically I'll go off of what I want to buy by the, seeing the pictures Mm -hmm. of what looks closest to the animation. And then I'll just watch everyone else's reviews for just because confirmation. No, no, I'll watch, I'll watch them all. Like, uh, what is that one? I've I've watched all of Bobby Springer reviews so far. 
every Springer he's reviewed just to see what it's like. Although I already know I'm getting a fans toys one. Well, that's the thing. There's not many, many things that could change my mind. I guess I'm I'm still trying to think of a time my mind was actually changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't even think of one for myself. I wasn't I wasn't in on those monster bots at all until I started to see people review them. But I think it was mostly just watching them get played with, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Because yeah. just just static pictures of them. The truth is they they look really weird. But once you mm-hmm. have them in hand, they look pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Me and you got to hold it for the first time that when we went to um, Hung's house mm-hmm. and he had that. Yeah. Every pugnus. Yeah. Every pugnus what... and uh, what's his face double cross. Yeah. No, I don't think he had double cross. I know he had that fans toys Skyfire. Yeah. It's that Skyfire awesome. and Make to- Make Toys Jazz too. That damn Skyfire. I hope that they like they like uh I hope he uh like sanitized that thing before he put it away. <laughs> like everybody touched it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I touched it a long time. That was fun. All right. And shout out to Hung. Yeah. So do you guys think that uh, reviewers are pretty much, I don't want to say pointless, but I want to say pointless. No, no, they're not at all, man. No. Well, I I haven't answered yet. Nobody asked me what I thought. Oh, what do you think? What do you think, Chris? Uh, Well, for me, I watch everything that comes down the pike, even a fucking Japanese shit that I can't understand. I watch them, you know, transform early test shots and shit, and, you know, just with their long fingernails just going over every fucking little minute detail <laughs> 50 right. times over. And it's like, what the fuck are you saying? Just get on to the next bit. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, if I, th- there are so many videos and so many pictures that we see all the time of these figures. And, you know, you can look at a figure and say, okay, it's got a ball joint here. It's got a rotation joint here. You'll figure out how it transforms and, you know, it comes down to aesthetic and then quality. And like for me, uh, transformation is not that big a deal because I don't transform them all the time. It goes on a shelf and it sits there and it looks good. Yep. Yep. So same thing with me. That's really not a factor in my consideration. I would like it to be easy. I would like to actually, you know, take these hundred dollar fucking things and be able to manipulate them back and forth but it's not important to me um but look is now as far as i do watch reviews i watch um bobby all the time um and actually i came to Shattercast by way of bobby's menasaur review the combiner wars the the Hmm. famous one that everybody quotes um you know and so, in a roundabout way, we can blame Bobby for this show. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, I can agree. That's actually more than one way. Like, there's, there's, like, without Bobby, we, and Shattered Cast, all of us guys would probably not know each other. So, yeah, that is true. You know, we can blame them. So, good, this. good, mm-hmm. bad, or ugly, yeah. we're here, we're yeah. queer, get used to us. And then we knock off their <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> but um as far as does it influence what i buy not always i wish um i wish one would have the lone wolf review i watched ben's review of it oh and, god and he Ugh. you know he i don't know if he thought it was a good toy or what but it's not a good toy did he I'm did he say you, it was man. glorious or did he not no, he said it was cool but was it glorious <laughs> I as cool as go, like uh, on his remember. scale on his scale, cool as shit, and glorious. Yeah. And Look, good. I, I, I'm not blaming him because I went I in there with a, with a chub already because it was Motormaster, and it looked Motor better, and it looked better than anything else that was out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you gotta gotta go with uh, T2RX6, Bobby, or uh, yep. Mr. Baldwin. I mean, those are oh, the yeah, only three reviewers I watch. Yep. I forgot to mention Matt. I love his reviews. I used to watch uh, Kuma style reviews before uh, his reviews started to suck dick, but uh, <laughs> you know. Anyway. Yeah, there is that. You know. I hope we get some viewers though. 
Yeah, me too. Um. Anyway. Um... <laughs> I still like your stuff. You're a dick. We don't give a <laughs> fuck about viewers, bud. Like, <laughs> we don't do this for the viewers. Nah. We do it to be a mouthpiece of assholes. We do it to sit around and talk with our buddies every night, and we just happen to hit the record button. Yep. Yeah. You know. We also do it to prank the fuck out of Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions about yourself? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. No. No? You just think about how much we love you, man. Chris looked at like 500 fucking chick with dick pictures just for you. I, I have seen so <laughs> much. I actually had to fucking see a few of them too because he's an asshole. Uh, yep. I have seen so much cock this week. And some, <laughs> so, <laughs> so much more than usual. Yes. Um, and... Some of these chicks put, you know, normal dudes to shame. Oh, my God. They got fucking hogs. (laughs) It's gross, man. (laughs) man. Thank God this experiment's over. I can fucking go back to putting regular chicks up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but you're still going to keep looking at the pictures. Don't lie. I'm not lying. (laughs) But I'm not going to heavily be so heavily into it. Starting to worry about you, man. Don't, don't worry. I mean, just just think about how much faster your wife could fold clothes if she had something to hang them on, like mid pull from the pile. Look, <laughs> I go by the old um, dice adage. He used to say that all it took for him was two tits, a hole, and a heartbeat. This fits that criteria. Mm-hmm. I like to be more specific about the holes <laughs> that are available. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, why don't we end this fucking show? Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. Let's do the I think this should out. be one of them shows that's only for the Patreon listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to get on to setting that Patreon up? Yeah, I'll do it, man. Uh, yeah, you won't. Yeah. yeah. The vodka. You'll forget. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm supposed to be doing something else, too, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You forgot all kinds of shit. Twitter, I'm Instagram. I'm going to do the page. I'm going to do the Patreon and I'm going to like buy, I'm going to be the only one. So I'm going to be the only one that gets a special show and then I'm going to sell it on eBay like that Wu Tang album. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get rich. And are you going to be that fucking douchebag that high priced the medicine and buy the Wu Tang album? Yep. Okay. All right. Shout outs. TF and WTF ever, the greatest Transformers and what the fuck ever Facebook group ever. I defy anyone to debate that statement. <laughs> L No Customs, an international consortium of Transformers customizers and creators. Third party TF Crashers and Yule Iblamo. Thanks for the help with the skid marks. Yeah. Hail Hasbro Reviews with Matthew Deluxe Baldwin. Uh, is anybody else getting a little uncomfortable with all the fucking duck face selfies he's posting? <laughs> it's uncomfortable. No, it's like, they all, they fu- but they all seem to be in a toilet. Well, yeah, because he poops a lot, just like we do. <laughs> <laughs> all right shattercast uncut the show that did it all uh and we knocked it off um figure banging apparently there's a good show that they're recording tonight right yeah so I, was, I was hoping to watch it i i don't know what it is yet because i can't watch but supposedly they're reviewing a real piece of shit all right we'll be anxiously awaiting what that is yeah uh, legions for the fountain of material you, and masterpiece addicts you, shout out to them too masterpiece <laughs> addicts and f- apparently flat earth for for fucking catfish yeah <laughs> uh, the realm of collectors and the entire cool table network the blackout and shout podcast and <laughs> not kuma style reviews <laughs> Um, Man, you guys are dumb, dude. And, and hey, sh- hey, shout out, shout out to Jason Lowry too for all he does behind the scenes. Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, y'all. Are- <laughs> all right, and let's close out the show as we always do by shopping some shit too. Giving our <laughs> our sweetest of emotions to the girls who make bad decisions with their bodies and the fathers and or uncles that made them that way. And alcohol, marijuana, and coffee. The lifeblood of and this Ty- show. And Tyler's mom. 
<laughs> Let's just get off Tyler's mom, because I just did. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. This is where we play the outro music. Yep. yep. If you liked what you heard and want more, like and subscribe. Comment and let us know what you thought. If you're on Facebook and want to join the party and become a fellow drag, we're at TF and WTF Ever. All hate mail can be sent to TKO the podcast at gmail.com. We'll be back next week with some more nonsense.